Hello my crafty friends, this is Lori Girl on the Ridge. I just have a quick video of some things I'd like to share with you. I'm kind of in the middle. I have one journal started. I'm just kind of taking a little break from that just to clear my head. And when I do that, I usually tend to go towards embellishments or envelopes. Envelopes I just love making. So what i done with watching so many videos, I don't even know who who did this to begin with there's so many variations so this is just my take on an envelope i use the with a six and a quarter by three and three quarters regular envelope tea diet with a um i took the tiffany stamp that you can get from stamp francisco google that and that should come up under I think, vintage tiffany stamp and on a library card and these are what i came up with i just in love with them these are a the yeah, decorated envelope in the front and i have them tied with a little seam by or um sorry silk and they have a uh, um tsunami rose uh, some of the trim is from a tattered dream and she'll be listed below and then some homemade um, but butterflies and then in the back I have I did a paper clip and that just holds the envelope has I made each one has um, a postcard these are all library cards sewn together this is a postcard pocket and then a little postcard and then just some paper sewn together with some lace and that goes in the envelope and then I just attached a little this one's a little journal bag journal it just has simple six yep three six so you have 12 pages and then it's just hinged on the back I just thought they were so adorable actually I'm sending a couple out as get well gifts or get well cards and then you just kind of tuck that down in there and then you just put the paper clip I thought they were so cute you know I'll put these in my journal boy I did some really shiny lotion I'm sparkling so that was one of them, and then I said just um, I put some sorry silk with them. And the other one, they're a little different. Again, I did most of all the fronts are tsunami rose, and then trim. This is the flat back from a tattered dream, and some more sorry silk and cheesecloth. So the envelope you just use as an envelope, and then you take the paper clip. And again, pretty much all uh, inside the envelopes are the same. I use them um, postcard stamps. Oh, this is two postcards. And then they're written. Written. And this is, I believe, graphic 45 paper I had. I'm going to keep it down. Hopefully you can see. It just, maybe just a little gardening. And that just has this one. Did I sew? Yeah, I sewed this one on. It was my first one. So that's the second one. And then the blue one. Again with the sorry ribbon silk. And then this one has the same insides. And then the journals are different. This is a try to glassine bag. And just hinged it on. But it's just an all-in-one. I would just, I just love them. Like I said, I don't know who to give credit to because there's so many. This is just my take on it. And then just the postcards. So I'm just gonna keep making them until I'm ready to get back into the journals. I will show you the one journal I'm working on. I went back to grungy. Sometimes you just have to take a break. And then we have this one. And same front. And 
this one, I believe, this is Nectar Creations. And the same. Some, I, some of the postcards I sold, some I didn't. Just random. And then this is the little book. I'm going to have to adjust. It's not really dry yet. And again, it's just a simple... I did do the pamphlet stitch on that one. So her paper was so pretty. And the last one is I did a little more lace on this one. And you can do any stamp, any stamp you like. And that was again Nectar Creations little journal on the back. And then postcards. I really did a lot of grungy. I'm into the grungy this phase right now. Until I see Clemmy. Clemmy, I just seen your last video, and oh my god, all that lace and pink is absolutely gorgeous. So that's what I I came up with with um, some more envelopes for my journals. And the next journal I am making is she's very in the beginning stages. This is um, gonna be very grungy. I did a lot of, uh, it's not even sewn in, and I can't remember the paper line. I'll have that all listed. This is going to be a story, um, Gabriella, and see, there's my tags. I just did, um, with the summer being so busy, sometimes I'll just take a bunch of stuff on the deck, and these are tags. I did, like, three different inks on them because I, I wanted to, again, do the grungy look, so... I just inked and just went crazy with the um, grunge, I guess. So this will be Gabrielle, or yep, Gabriella, and she will be one of my storybooks. Be a two signature. Again, a lot of um, cardboard. Actually, I mod podge the pattern right over the cardboard. I kind of like the way that looks, and that's not done yet. And then this is just really layered. And this little dominoes was part of the story, so I had to put that there. So that's what I'm working on, and that's about it. So thanks for stopping in, and I'm working on also a giveaway. I'm putting that together, and I hope you guys have a good night, and we'll see you soon. Bye.